on any international medical relief trip. Helping those that have no way to care for themselves is the primary goal. Every person you encounter will desperately need your help. It was the people of Senegal that we've come halfway around the world to provide and administer medical aid to. And this village is full on Africa. It is adobe huts, the people are amazing. Um, the women are brightly colored clothes, carrying pots of water on their head. I mean, something you would see out of National Geographic is this village. Our team includes an emergency room doctor, two nurse practitioners, two dentists, a team leader, and three assistants. This epic journey is 13 days in total, and we will attempt to provide relief for those suffering from malaria and dengue fever. This is called Turger, and it's, she's so dry that her skin sticks together, but the better indicator is this and that. As well as the extraction of hopeless and painfully infected teeth. Your help will be very welcome by the natives. Team member Justin Ross records the team's amazing night arrival in his journal. You could hear the village before you could even see it. All of the village had come down to the bank for our arrival. They were yelling, screaming, banging on pots and pans, all the while only being made visible by the popping of flashes and the roaming of a headlamp. And then, so as not to be deposited into the river, I was thrusted over the shoulders of a strong man and I was deposited into the sea of greetings and chaos. I worked my way up through the village to what would become my home in Diorbabal, Kumba's house, the sister of Omar Ja. And this was the beginning of my experience in Diorbabal. That's for you. We will learn the saga of Omar Ja, a man raised in the remote village of Diorbaval. He worked in Colorado in order to send money back to his family, as well as provide hope for their future. Sule Gay, cousin and best friend of Omar Ja, best tells his story. He got a shot with the two guys. We get off from work around 11, 12 o'clock at night. We're going back home. That's where they find him and shot him. The two men who killed him were skinheads. They want to kill him, they say he's black. That's all they want to kill him, they say he's black. They say that he's black. They kill him by racist, because he's black. Since the death of Omar Ja, International Medical Relief has been instrumental in aiding doctors and nurses from Colorado and beyond in their mission to show the people of Diorbaval that not all Americans hate Africans. Assistance of any kind is not only welcome, but is needed to save so many people crying out for help. This is my shadow. Smile. How is it? First day I took a first day I took a tooth out on him and he has just followed me around. He's been my shadow man. After Diorbaval, we traveled on to two new villages that had not been previously treated by Western doctors. Clinics were established, the masses were notified, and the need seemed even greater here. Yeah. I mean, you can look around and see all these people. Could this be an indication that International Medical Relief's previous efforts in Diorbaval is now paying off? The team saw hundreds of patients during their journey, and after it all, I still wonder. Who has helped more, the natives or us? For more information on how you can help International Medical Relief, please go to www.imrhq.org. Go ahead, spread the aloha.